Hello and welcome to Electrofox. Today I'm going to show you a Radio Shack TRS-80 Model 4. Now it's got a black and green screen, not black and white. It's got one floppy disk drive down here, which is a 5 inch floppy, not a 3 inch floppy. And up here it's just got a blanking plate. Now, over here on the right, the, the orange button is the reset switch. This is a 16K model. And because this is a Model 4, it's got the up and down side to side switches, which was one of the you know upgrades from the Model 3. It's got a standard QWERTY keyboard. Here is the floppy disk in its sleeve. And as you can see, it's got different directions in different languages. And of course, it's made in the USA for Radio Shack by Tandy. Tandy was the company that owned Radio Shack at the time, and they made all of Radio Shack's products. Now if you look here, you can see the floppy disk has a little oval-shaped opening on both sides. I believe this is a double-sided floppy. If you look in here, you can see the head, reader head, right in there. Here's a better look with the light on. You can see what the inside of the floppy disk looks like and how it drops down. This lid here drops down and presses the floppy disk firmly in place. And if you look behind there, it's kind of hard to see, but there's the reader head behind there and all the wires connecting to the reader head and there's the circuit board which controls the reader head and the floppy disk and of course it goes in like this you push down now unfortunately on this computer the uh, reset button is stuck, so it won't actually work properly, but I can show you what it looks like with a blank screen. Here's what the side of the unit looks like. There's what the top of the unit looks like. And there's what the back of the unit looks like. And you can see down here, it has a little port for the cassette deck. Now this thing would run information on off of a cassette as well as floppy disk. It was a lot like an audio cassette, but it had data, different types of data on the cassette and make different beeping sounds, kind of like a fax, fax machine. But you would have to run through the whole cassette in order for you to run your program, which was really a pain in the butt. Here's the bottom of the machine. Over here you have the contrast knobs. Right here you have the information like voltage and the model number and serial number. It says custom manufactured in the USA by Radio Shack, a division of Tandy. So it wasn't just assembled in the US, it was made in the US, which is kind of cool. Here's I.O. bus connectors and information on the connectors. Up here is the power switch. And of course you got ventilation grills and stuff down here. That's more information. Down here is an expansion slot which goes along here which you could use which is also illustrated here you could run a little ribbon to other accessories that this might have been able to run. And it looks like there's also two other expansion slots here, which would also connect by ribbons. Here's the cassette deck cord. And as you can see, it's got the four prongs here, which match the back. I don't have the cassette deck to go to it. Um, and I don't have any extra floppy disk drives either because there's a way you could hook up more floppy disk drives. 
and you can see here that the cord goes to three three millimeter mono headphone jacks. One interesting point to make is that the power cord is actually soldered to the motherboard and so this makes it a truly all-in-one system in that the screen, floppy disks, keyboard, and motherboard are all in one system. Now I'm going to turn it on real quick. The power is right here and the contrast is over here. And see, I can make it dim or really bright. Now that flickering you see is the uh, CRT screen messing with the camera refresh rate. But see, I can make it dimmer or brighter. Now, I can't show you anything else further because the fact that this reset button is stuck and I think it might have another problem and of course that's how you eject your floppy disk so thank you so much for watching Electrofox I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a wonderful day